Hey, it's Joe Tamargo from WetheadPumpRepair.com. All right, so a lot of times people always say, Joseph, I broke my throw bolts, or Joseph, how do I properly remove my throw bolts? Okay, so on this motor here, we're working on an Emerson motor. And on this Emerson, if you, Robert just shoot, shoots down a little bit, right? You, when you go to turn it, you can feel that it's gonna snap. So what we do is, I don't wanna snap that, because what happens, back up a little, Robert, if I, if I snap this bolt, okay, it's gonna snap off inside this end bell here, and then I'm gonna have to really drill that out, it's gonna be a pain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole right through the center of this nut until I reach the, the flat part, and I'm just going to take a screwdriver and move the head, okay? And then what I can do is knock off the front of the motor, and I'll have like 10 inches of through bolt sticking up, and I'll be able to remove them vice grips, okay? So why am I going to do this live? Because people always say, hey, Joseph, you make it look so easy. Okay, here we go, ready? You can see that I've taken a center punch just like this, okay? And I've center punched the center, okay, of this bolt. That wasn't supposed to happen, but whatever. Okay, so you can see a center punch there. Okay, now Robert's zooming in. I'm gonna take my drill. I'm using a call. I'm using a. I'm using a cobalt steel uh, drill bit, which will drill through nice and fast. Okay, I'm gonna place it in my center punch hole just like this. Okay, and it drill through. I'm going to check my depth, and I can see now if Robert comes over on top of this, you can see that I'm there. I've drilled through the exact center of that. Now Robert's going to back up a little, and you can see here. I'm going to come a little closer, buddy. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, now that I've drilled out through that center, I'm going to take my nut driver, put it on just like this, and I'm just going to turn it, and what that's going to do is gently just release it and break it just like that, okay? So now if Robert backs up a little, now you can see that I've got this total head off. Come in and zoom on down the span. See, I've taken... I've drilled right through the bolt. Isn't that kind of cool? I've drilled a hole right through the center of that, live right here. Okay, now if Robert shows you here, so you can see this is flush. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do all four like this, and then we're gonna put this back in the vise. Okay, back up a little. We're gonna put this back in the vise, and we're just gonna tap out the front end bell, and then we'll have all four through bolts sticking up, and we'll be able to heat those up. All right, so this is JoeTamargo.com. I'm in Joe Tamargo from WetheadPumpRepair.com. All right, so if you wanna do this, you can go out and buy yourself a drill bit, just like this. Okay, and you want to drill it out. If this is a 5 30 second spit, I'm using on an Emerson motor. Okay, thank you for watching. This is Joe Tamargo from WetheadPuppyPair.com. Peace.